there. You're listening to The Mighty Mommy with some quick and dirty tips for practical parenting. Dan in New Jersey writes, When my two girls, ages two and six, get sick, they want to be held. At the time, I'm happy to hold and comfort them, whether it be stomach flu or fever, but then a few days later, I get what they had, but usually worse and for longer. Fortunately, my wife and I never get sick on the same day, so there is always at least one healthy adult to keep things going. But I am wondering if the Mighty Mommy avoids getting what her kids have, and if so, what is her secret? Well, Dan, no. I'm not always entirely successful. I've been known to catch whatever ailment my children are carrying. I have been fairly lucky, though, that the illnesses have been few and far between. I don't have any secrets, but I can share some tips that will help cut down on the passing of illnesses. Cleanliness is one of the key elements in keeping illnesses at bay. You'll hear it all the time, and I'm simply going to repeat it. Wash your hands. Wash them often and completely with soap and water. Use clean towels or disposable towels to dry them. As a general rule, I've heard it's best to wash your hands under warm water with liquid or bar soap and to rub your hands together for about the length of time it takes to sing the alphabet. You certainly can't wash them too long, but you do need to wash them long enough to kill and rinse away the germs. Another thing you may want to remember is that if you turned your faucet on with your pre-washed hands, you may want to turn it off using a towel. You can also use antibacterial hand gels or towelettes, but keep in mind that overuse of antibacterial products can be dangerous for young children. Please keep these products out of the reach of children. You'll also want to be sure to regularly clean the hands and face of your sick little one. Not only will it help limit the spreading of germs, but everyone feels better when they're clean. If your children are old enough, encourage them to use a tissue, towel, or at least their hands as a shield when they're coughing or sneezing. You'll have your hands full with a sick child, but if you're looking for more preventative measures, you can spend a little extra time each day washing any clothes your child has worn, along with any clothes you've worn while holding your child. The same goes for other members of the household. Don't just let those clothes sit around with germs on them. Get them into the wash as soon as possible. You'll also want to wash any linens or towels that have come into contact with the germs. It may seem like a lot of extra work, but it shouldn't be more than one load of laundry per day, and will really cut down on the germs spreading through the house. You should also avoid sharing towels, pillows, toiletries, drinks, or any other personal items. Finally, if you want to stay healthy, take care of yourself all the time. Keeping yourself in shape, eating healthy, and staying hydrated are all key ingredients for a healthy immune system. When you keep yourself healthy, your resistance to illness will be higher, which will lessen the chance of you becoming ill. For additional information about avoiding illness, you can also check out the Nutrition Divas episode entitled Catch Fewer Colds This Year. If you'd like to request a topic for The Mighty Mommy, you can email me directly at mommy at quickanddirtytips.com or leave a message by calling 206-202-2185. Get The Mighty Mommy's Quick and Dirty Tips for Practical Parenting and other great shows from the Quick and Dirty Tips Network streamed to your iPhone. Download Stitcher for free today at stitcher.com. This is your friend, the Mighty Mommy, wishing you happy and fun parenting.